So for all you women claiming you queens, I'm just asking this question. Um, and y'all got kids, where, where you getting your bloodline from? You a queen, right? Where, where's your bloodline? You know, your kids, what, what, where, where you picking the bloodline from? I'm 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 so <clears throat> I'm so taken back by how um you know I mean you you truly got me saying nigga negro please because the narratives and all these little these little innuances or innuendos about yourself all these little these things that y'all claim none of it is measurable I'm a queen I'm independent I'm a boss I love God and I'm just not understanding, you know, so uh, I want to stay on topic for all you women of color that are claiming that, in fact, you are a queen and got children. Where is your bloodline from? Because I want to be clear. When you see a horse breeder, when you see a dog breeder, it is very important where the bloodline comes from when they're breeding. All right. If. Uh, if, in fact, a horse wins the Triple Crown, that man will be able to sell that horse's semen, sperm, skeet, if you will. Uh, yeah, we go with skeet for about $300,000 an ounce. And they're not claiming that they're queens. What exactly are you winning at as a queen? It is amazing. Um, show us the queen chart. Is there a queen chart? No, it's, I'm sure it isn't. But this is the thing that individuals do because nothing in their life has substance. It's all hype. This is why they claim it. And they, they claim it and they speak it to you because you allow them to get away with it. Facts. Negro, please.